everyone, my name's Miss Harries and I'm the Head of Science at Shrewsbury City Campus. Who loves s'mores? I know I do. Well, I can show you a way of creating s'mores without having to use a fire or a microwave. How cool is that? We just need to use the heat of the sun. All you'll need for this experiment is a cardboard box. Pizza boxes are usually the best. Some marshmallows, of course and some biscuits, chocolate ones are the best. Some tape, some scissors, a black piece of paper and some reflective tin foil. The first thing that you'll need to do is using your cardboard box on the lid that lifts up, you need to cut out three sides of a square, okay? If you need help from an adult, please get some because sometimes scissors can be sharp. Here's one I made earlier. So you can see that I have a lid that lifts up in the shape of a square. The next thing you'll need to do is to cover the inside of your cardboard box with reflective tinfoil. The reason for this is because the reflective tinfoil is going to reflect the sun's rays and create a mini oven within that cardboard box. Okay, the way to do this, pretty easy, Tin foil you can tear and it's really easy to mould around your box. So let me do that just quickly. Make sure that when you're putting your tin foil onto the inside of your cardboard box, that the side that's most reflective is the part that's, that you can see. Do not have this side upwards, facing upwards. So as you can see, the inside of my cardboard box is completely covered in foil, but we need to also make room for the lid that's gonna help get that sunlight into this oven. So either using your finger or your scissors, trace the square into the foil So you can still have that lid. Okay, you see how that works? You can always replace the foil if it's not happened very well. Okay. I'm now going to close my box to show you how it will look like from the outside. So this is the box from the outside. You can see when I lift my lid, all of the inside is covered with my reflective foil. So that's brilliant. Now this part didn't work out so well. So I'm going to just tear this part off and I can always replace that foil later. I'm now going to make sure that my box is secure by using tape. So I'm going to just put the tape around the outside of my box. It doesn't have to be a Domino's pizza box. It can be any kind of box that has a lid. Okay, and that's now keeping my box together. So now I'm just gonna use an extra bit of tin foil, again, using the reflective side to just make sure that my lid is covered. And there we have it. That's the beginnings of our little cardboard oven. The next step, you should get a black piece of paper. You can trim it to the size of the box. I might need to make mine a little bit smaller now. The reason why we use black paper is because as you all know, black absorbs light. So that would be great to make our oven even better. Let me just cut this down a little bit smaller. and make sure that it goes inside my oven. And there you can see that my oven has the black piece of paper in it, okay? Now, the next step, this is the exciting step, is where we get to put our smalls together. So the way that we can make a small is by getting some biscuit, putting it down, obviously chocolate side up if you've got chocolate biscuits. You can even put a layer of chocolate on top if you don't have any chocolate biscuits and then a marshmallow on top of that marshmallow put another biscuit okay 
this time chocolate side down. Or if you don't have a chocolate biscuit, the chocolate underneath the biscuit. Okay, now that that's there, the next thing to do is to make sure that the oven is sealed off. Yes, we've got some reflective material, but we need to make sure that there's no other air getting into there. And the way that we can do that is by using a bit of plastic from a plastic bag, or you can use cling film. I am now cutting up this plastic bag to make sure that the top of the oven is covered. Okay, and then I'm going to cover over the food. To make sure that my cover is secure, I'm gonna just use a little bit of tape to stick it to the box. And there you have it. Here is the mini cardboard oven. Now, the next step for us will be to go outside on a bright, sunny day. Then the next thing you'll need to do is find a place in direct sunlight and place your oven so that it gets the maximum sunlight reflected into your oven. And wait for the results. Now let's see how the tiny oven has done. I'm just going to peel this back. And as you can see, wow, the chocolate has melted. This looks delicious. Look at that. Mmm, that was a really tasty snack. I hope you enjoy making your s'mores. If you have any questions, let your teachers know. Enjoy. <laughs>